Hello, good evening, and welcome to your 68th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca, and this evening I want to talk to you about altering triggers. I'll show you how to alter in an existing trigger. As with all other programming objects in SQL Server, a trigger can only be modified using PSQL. A situation might arise in which you will need to change the logic inside the trigger. Instead of dropping and recreating the trigger, you can use the alter keyword to quickly modify the trigger. Alright, so let's see how we do this. Let's go over, oh, that's from my last, I should uh, close out. This is from my last tutorial. I don't need you. Okay. Alright, now let's close that, close up shop here. Okay, now if you're not already here, connect to an instance of SQL Server and we're going to expand the databases folder, expand AdventureWorks 2012, expand our tables folder, and we're looking for human resources dot department, which is already expanded because I forgot to collapse it, but that's okay. Uh, now we're going to expand the trigger folder, and now we're going to right click the iCheck modified date okay right click that and now we're going to modify okay so now we have some automatically populated uh, T sequel here that appears in our new query window now we want to locate the statement that says set modified date equals get date and we can see that that's right here and what we're going to do here is we're going to alter this so what we're going to do is just get rid of that and then what I want to do is grab this guy, copy him, and go back and real quick let me just control Z so we can see okay what's what's the difference now I'll paste in the difference so yeah, as we can see we added date add day negative one get date so you can see the difference here so all right now let's get rid of this guy again and then we're going to go ahead and execute okay commands completed successfully cool now we want to do a new query okay now we're going to go back over here and grab this block of code where we're using AdventureWorks 2012. We're inserting into human resources dot department and the values or executive purchasing, executive general and administration. And then the date 2-12-2011. Select all from human resources dot department. Okay. So copy that guy. Go back over to our new query window. Go ahead and type this in. And once you're done, execute. Okay. So, in the last row of the results, you should see a modified date that is set to yesterday's date. And what do we know? 12 16 2013, 12 15 2013. So, there we go. Now we know how to alter an existing trigger using PSQL. Thanks for stopping by. In my next tutorial, uh, I'll be covering something good so you won't want to miss it. See you there.